What's up YouTube, Crispy Charizard here. Today I will be discussing the real life inspirations for the main berries in the main Pokemon games. I will not be discussing the berries that were exclusive to Generation 3, the ones that were attainable using an e-reader, because those were not transferable to Generation 4 without having it transform into an Enigma berry. I will mainly be discussing the names of the berries, because the names are the most significant. They have their own origins in every language, but most of them are identical. Very few berries differ between different regions in real life. The Japanese and the English are the most significant, but they usually agree. I will discuss the differences when they don't agree, and we will also compare the appearance of the berries, because they are usually very accurate to their real life counterparts, although not always, and it is very interesting to see where they are the same and where they are different. Now as for the names, most of them are fun little puzzles to figure out. They are usually anagrams or portmanteaus, which is where you combine two phrases into one, as we will discuss. Some of them are trickier than others, so if you can't figure them out, I left a few clues and I will probably discuss exactly how the names are based on their real life fruits. So let's get started. The cherry berry is obviously based on the cherry. No trouble there. The Chesto is based on two things. In Japan, it is based on the Mukago, which is a sort of yam root. This is more obvious in its Japanese name, which I have not listed, because I'm listing the English name of the Pokemon fruit. While the English name Chesto is obviously based on the chestnut, which is obvious also in its design. The Pecha Berry is based on the peach. The Rost Berry is based on the strawberry. The ass pear berry is based on the Asian pear, and this is an example of a portmanteau, where you combine the AS from Asian and pear to make ass pear. The lepa berry is based on the apple, which is an anagram of lepa. The oran berry is based on the orange. Now, ever since I was a little kid, I thought that its design was based on the blueberry, which it probably is but its name implies that it's based on the orange, and it even looks like an orange, except for its color, of course. The person berry is based on the persimmon. While it may not look like one, and while the person is one of those berries whose designs differs based on which game you're getting its uh, sprite from, the name is obviously pointing to the persimmon. The lum berry is based on the plum, which is something that was new to me. For many years, I thought it was based on the mulberry, because I just thought it was mull backwards. But it's not based on the mulberry, in fact, it's based on the plum. And I even found out that there are variants of plums which are green. The citrus is another one of those tricky ones because of its difference between American and Japanese games. In Japan, it's based on the zabon, which is what we know as the pomelo. If you haven't heard of it, it is just a type of citrus fruit, which is sort of like a yellow-green lemon while the English name, of course, is a generic citrus. It is probably one of the only fruits, or one of the only Pokemon berries, which is not based on a specific fruit, but as but a generic category, because citrus includes lots of fruits, like limes, lemons, oranges, and grapefruits. And, of course, the pomelo, which in Japan is called the zabon. And it even resembles the zabon, or pomelo. The figgy is based on the fig. The wiki berry is based on the kiwi. The mago berry is based on the mango. The aguav berry is based on the guava. The yapapa berry is based on the papaya. It is uh, interesting to note here that the papaya will be returning because there is another fruit which is also based on the papaya. The raspberry is based on the raspberry. The blockberry is based on the blackberry. The nana berry is based on the banana. The wee pear berry is a portmanteau of western pear, which is it's what it's based off of. The pineapple berry is based on the pineapple. The pomeg berry is based on the pomegranate. The kelpsy berry is based on kombu, which is basically kelp, or sea kelp, as the name is probably alluding to. The Qualot berry is based on the Loquat. Andu berry is based on the Honeydew Melon. The Greppa berry is based on the Grape. The Tomato berry is based on the Tomato. 
The cornberry, while obvious, has many different inspirations because in Japan it is based on the morokoshi, which may or may not be a type of sorghum. It is very difficult to determine exactly where the names come from because it's not exactly clear cut dry because there are many different species of grain that can fit this category. Of course, in English it is obviously based on maize or corn. Whether these maize and corn is even the same thing or not is something that the internet can't seem to agree on, but that is not important. The magost berry is based on the mangosteen, and uniquely it is also something that a Gen 7 Pokemon was also based on along with its evolutions. The rabuta berry is based on the rambutan. The nomel berry is based on the lemon. The spellon berry is based on the kiwano in Japan, which is also commonly known as the spiked melon. The pam tree berry is probably one of the more unique berries because it's not based on a real life fruit. I've checked and double checked and triple checked and I cannot find an actual fruit that it, this pam tree berry is based off of. All I can find is that in every language it seems to agree that it's based on the yashi or the palm tree. Why a berry is based on the palm tree is unknown, but that's just the way it is. I can't find any other explanation. But it seems to be implying that it's based on whatever grows on palm trees. But many different things grow on palm trees, whether you're talking about coconuts or, or dates or maybe even bananas. But those are all different species of trees and different species of fruit. But you have to admit, it kind of does resemble a palm tree in its coloration. But not, and maybe even its shape, I don't know. It's, this is a strange fruit and I couldn't find a, a better explanation. But the Japanese and the English agree it is based on the yashi or the palm tree. The watermelon berry is based on the watermelon. The durian berry is based on the durian. The blue berry is based on the blueberry. The oka berry is based on the cocoa bean. The pasho berry isn't based on a fruit itself, but on the passion flower. Now, while fruits, by definition, have to come from flowers, I couldn't find any agreement on what fruit comes from this flower, if at all. Because while fruits, by definition, come from flowers, not all flowers turn into fruits. And the passion flower, by itself, fits the coloring of the pasho berry. And the names also seem to match, but... For some reason, it's and it does resemble a flower, but for some reason, it's not an actual fruit. The wakan berry has some mixed meanings in there because it is originally based on the rosoku no ki, which is commonly in English known as the candle tree, and the fruit is known as a wax candle. Not that that's its official name, but wax candle is where we get wakan. The rindo berry is based on the tamarind. The Yachi Berry is based on a real-life fruit which inspired a different Pokemon berry that we will discuss later. However, the Yachi gets its name from Cherry Moya, which is also commonly known as the Custard Apple. Like I said, this fruit inspired a different Pokemon berry and it has many other names than just Custard Apple in English. The Chopal Berry also is inspired by a real-life fruit, which we'll be discussing later because it also inspired a different Pokemon berry. It gets its name from Chimfu and Wax Apple, which is strange because it's a portmanteau of its actual name and its English name. Of course, again, Wax Apple is not its only name. It has a dozen other names. The Kebia berry is based on the Akebia, or chocolate vine, as it is commonly known. The shuka berry is based on the cashew, which, despite being known as a nut, is actually a fruit. The koba berry is based on the babaco. The payapa berry, while being based on the calabash in Japanese, is named after the papaya in English. The papaya, of course, we saw earlier because it also inspired the yapapa berry in Pokemon games. So the papaya inspired two Pokemon fruits. But of course, the payapa berry is also inspired by the calabash in Japanese. The tanga berry is based on the pitanga. The chardi berry is based on the chorogi, which is known as the Chinese artichoke, from where it gets its English name. It is more of a root than an actual fruit. 
The Kasib is based on a species of citron, which is known as the Bushukan, which is also commonly known as Buddha's hand because of its unique shape. While the citron is a species of fruit with many varieties, the Kasib is only based on this specific one, the Bushukan. However, I couldn't exactly find where Kasib gets its lettering and its name. I see that there's a K-A in Bushukan, just like Kasib, but I assume that its actual name can only be discovered in its complete Japanese pronunciation, which I'm not an expert on. The Haban berry is based on the Terry Habanjiro, which is commonly known as the strawberry guava. The Colbert berry is based on the cocklebur, which does not resemble any fruit that I wish to eat. The Babiri berry is based on the bariba. The Chilon berry is based on the Huzuki, which is also commonly known as the Chinese lantern. The lychee berry is based on the lychee. The ganlon berry is based on the longan. The salak berry is based on the salak, which isn't even an anagram or anything, it's just changing one letter. The pitaya berry is based on the pitaya, which is commonly known as the dragon fruit. The apricot berry is based on the apricot. The lancet berry is based on the langset. The starf berry is based on the carambola, commonly known as the starfruit. The enigma berry is probably the most unique berry of all because it has no real life inspiration, it is not based on a real fruit, and in every language it's based on the word enigma. It is also, like I mentioned, the, what Gen 3 e-reader exclusive berries turn into if you transfer them to Gen 4. The Mikkel berry is based on the miracle fruit. The Custap berry, like we discussed earlier, is based on a similar fruit as the Yachi berry. Now the Yachi berry, as I mentioned, was based on the cherry moya, which is also known as a custard apple. However, the Custap, while it's also directly inspired by the word custard apple, it's also known as a sugar apple in some places. The Jaboka is based on the Jabudikaba. The Roap is also inspired by the same fruit as the Chopal berry. Now Chopal was inspired by Chumfu and apple, but it's also known as a rose apple and a water apple and a java apple. So if you combine rose, water, and apple, you get roap. The roselli is based on the roselle. The key berry is based on the aki. The moranga berry is based on the meringue. And that's it, everyone. Those are all the main Pokemon berries and their real life inspirations and also how they relate to each other in different ways and how real life berries and real life fruit can inspire more than one Pokemon berry and while many Pokemon berries are inspired by more than one real life fruit and other plants that don't even qualify as fruit. I hope you found this informative. I'm not exactly sure why I made a video about this, but I just found it extremely interesting and it's just a little bit of fun trivia for those of you who are interested. I'll see you guys next time and please like, subscribe, comment down below and share with a friend.